morning and welcome to the first ever KubeCon CloudNativeCon in China. I am thrilled to announce that we have sold out our inaugural event uh, here in Shanghai with 2,500 attendees. Yeah, it's um, thank you to all of you. And um, I want to particularly thank our diamond sponsors, Alibaba Cloud, Huawei Cloud, IBM Cloud, Tencent Cloud, and our platinum and sponsors and gold sponsor, Alauda, Chai Cloud, Google Cloud, Intel, JD.com, Microsoft and, uh, Azure, Rancher, VMware, and Suze. And uh, we would not be able to hold this conference without their support. I hope uh, that all of you will spend um, some time in the sponsor showcase on the first floor and uh, get to know them and our other sponsors. And uh, in particular, lunch is going to be served there uh, both today and tomorrow. So uh, could we have a, hand, a round of applause for these sponsors? We really do appreciate them making this event possible. CNCF will turn uh, three years old next month. We now have two graduated projects, Kubernetes and Prometheus, and 16 incubating projects. We're backed by the 19 platinum members shown here, as well as more than 300 other companies, of which more than 10% are based in China. We use this chart from Crossing the Chasm to talk about how we recommend our projects. Graduated projects like Kubernetes have crossed the chasm and are suitable for the early majority. Incubating projects are for early adopters, and our sandbox projects are for innovators. Now, I mentioned that uh, CNCF is part of the Linux Foundation, but uh, you may not be aware that the Linux Foundation does far more than just Linux today. Let's Encrypt now provides more than half of the world's uh, security certificates. In networking, we uh, work with carriers representing more than two-thirds of the world's population. For uh, automotive-grade Linux, it's shipping in all new Toyotas and many other manufacturers. With uh, blockchain, we have Hyperledger as one of the uh, major efforts. And on the web, we host Node.js, one of the most popular application frameworks. Uh, we are also rolling out LF Deep Learning which, uh, with many partners here in China. Now, uh, what all of those projects have in common is an effort to build sustainable ecosystems. We have a philosophy that open source projects can be used to build commercial products, that those can produce profits which are then reinvested back into those projects. Now, I've been coming to China for a long time. That is from uh, 1996. And uh, I've been coming to China frequently enough now that the flight attendants on the United nonstop from New York to Shanghai recognize me. In fact, uh, this is my sixth trip to China in 2018 which is a demonstration of the interest that the cloud native community has in improving our collaboration with Chinese developers and end users. Now, the best part of coming to China is the friends that I've made here. Uh, and you can see that uh, I actually look much more excited than the panda does. But more seriously, um, we are thrilled to now host three CNCF projects that began in China. This demonstrates the global nature of the cloud native community and that open source collaboration bridges geography. So uh, in addition to the events in North America and in Europe, KubeCon Cloud Native Con China is the third keystone event that CNCF will host each year. Um, one of the most important efforts that CNCF has helped uh, lead is for certification. This helps ensure that all certified Kubernetes implementations are interoperable. We have 76 certified Kubernetes partners 
This is one of the largest and most successful conformance programs ever launched. Um, but it's fun to look in at just the ones in China. And you can see, as I go back and forth here, that 22 of our 76 vendors, or 29% um, are based here in China. Another major program that CNCF has run is called the Kubernetes Certified Service Provider. That is for companies that have demonstrated expertise to help with adoption of Kubernetes and the cloud native ecosystem. And uh, you can see that 15 of our KCSPs, 22% are based here in China. Again, kind of fun to see those. And then uh, another program is our Kubernetes training partner that offers training to help organizations succeed in adopting Kubernetes. We have 18 around the world and fully 33%, six of them are based here in China. Now, when CNCF launched three years ago, we had one member in China, uh, Huawei, one of our founding Platinum members. Today, we have 39, including Platinum members, Alibaba Cloud, Huawei, and JD.com, and Gold members, Baidu, Tencent Cloud, and ZTE. And uh, finally, I want to point out the 69 companies in our end user community with some absolutely amazing global brands here. Uh, but I will say that this is the one area where we are um, eager to have China catch up. Only two of our end user members, JD.com and Didi, are uh, from China currently. So I hope that many of the end users in the audience will consider having your organization join CNCF to improve our collaboration with end users. And uh, let's finish with a look at KubeCon Cloud Native Con attendance. Now, compared to the first events that CNCF ran in Seattle in November 2016 and Berlin in March of 2017 that had 1,000 and 1,500 attendees, uh, we are thrilled to have our inaugural event here in China launch with 2,500 attendees. And we're excited to see this event grow along with the cloud native community. Uh, and so I'd like to invite all of you to come back to KubeCon Cloud Native Con in just seven months, June 24th to 26th, 2019, that will be again here in Shanghai. And uh, the call for proposals to, have you, uh, to give a talk at this conference will open in just another couple of weeks. So I hope that many of you will decide to submit talks. Now, before we begin with an amazing schedule of speakers, I would like to take a moment to recognize one of the pioneers who helped bring open source to China. It is my great pleasure to welcome Professor Liu Xiaochun of the Chinese OSS Promotion Union, COPU, and to give him this award for his contributions to open source in China. I've had the honor to collaborate with Professor Liu for many years, as he's been a great friend of the Linux Foundation and of uh, other open source initiatives in China. Uh, so thank you very much, and congratulations. Thank you. Um, and uh, if you want to, here you go, just say a few words. Thank you very much. This is uh, the first. KubeCon and uh, uh, Cloud Native uh, Conference. I'm very honored to be awarded this uh, Open Source Leadership Award by CNCF. The open source cloud native uh, container and uh, cloud program and uh, the Kubernetes uh, uh, development as uh, well as the V1 
and uh, microsolver and uh, uh, services layers and uh, edge computing application led by CNCF represents the cloud computing development trend and the directions from today and CN plus coding like uh, big data and AI and blockchain as well as a 5G will be combined together and uh, further uh, release uh, the potential of uh, cloud computing. A lot of uh, enterprises participated in the CNCF-led development. And uh, with the core of uh, CN and Kobe uh, to promote the digitization of the enterprises. And all together, we have uh, 39 members that uh, participated in the CNCF uh, uh, engaged uh, development. And uh, the achievements are applied to China. Again, I would like to thank CNCF. Thank you very much. Thank you. So thank you again, Professor Liu. It has been um, a great honor to work with you over uh, many years now uh, in China and uh, to help us launch this uh, next step of bringing the cloud native community to China as well. And um, finally, I am thrilled to get to make some news this morning, which is uh, that I am uh, excited to welcome CNTCF's 19th incubating or graduated project, a harbor which entered CNCF as a sandbox project, uh, just received the votes from our technical oversight committee to move up to the next level of maturity, uh, an incubating project. And um, this is the first project, incubating level project in CNCF that was developed primarily in China. So um, I'm now uh, pleased to welcome uh, Henry Zhang, uh, the founder of Project Harbor, to tell us a little bit about it. Uh, congratulations, Hi, thank and thanks you. very thank much. Thank you for having me here today. Yeah.